Churchill is arguably the mm. greatest Briton that ever lived, you know, to many, and they, they have an idea of who he is, and they've seen these pictures. Right. But do they really know who he is? Are they remembering Churchill, or are they remembering Albert Finney as Churchill, mm -hmm. or Robert Hardy mm -hmm. as Churchill? I think I was somewhat contaminated by those those other actors that I that I had seen. But there were in England there are much more mixed feelings about Churchill than certainly in America. Sure. Mm. But did you come but, away but, with more mixed feelings about Churchill from your research? No, I came away with enormous admiration mm. for him. He's incomparable to any figure. Lincoln, possibly. Mm. Lincoln is the closest, I think. He's a man 50 years in politics. He wrote 50 books, the Nobel Prize for Literature, painted 540 paintings, had 16 exhibitions at the Royal Academy, flip-flopped twice, commended in four wars. Um, flip-flopped politically. Yeah, certainly his mind and ingenuity he navigated that very, very cleverly, the, 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 the Second World War. Hitler will not insist on outrageous terms. He will know his own weaknesses. He will be reasonable. When will the lesson be learned? When will the lesson be learned? How many more dictators must be wooed, appeased, good God, given him mixed privileges, before we learn? You cannot reason with a tiger when your head is in its mouth. How old, how old was he when he made, was made prime minister? 65. Jeez, that's... Yeah. But that, that, <clears throat> your best that, stuff is waiting for when you're 65. Yeah, but that goes back to, to that thing you were saying about what people, you know, the image of mm. how they remember someone. How did you uncorrupt and yourself from those other performances? I went to the footage, the news, well, apart yeah. from the, the, the mountain of reading that one would have to... You'd have to have a, a second life just to read all... Yeah. The, yeah. the material on him, but I went to the footage and I saw a man who was energised and had vitality. He looked like a baby. Mm -hmm. He had a cherubic face, a sort of naughty schoolboy grin with a sparkle in his eye. He was marching ahead of everyone. It was like moving through space with a fixity of purpose, you know, and energy. And he has been played as a sort of grumpy, a man born in a bad mood, mm -hmm. a grumpy, curmudgeon, drunk with a whiskey and a cigar. And I thought... No, I, I didn't set out deliberately to, to, mm. to be different. Mm -hmm. But the man that I saw in this footage was, was different to some of, some of the ways that he has been represented. I'm glad to say I have worked with people in the theatre who vomit and... You know, I like every night. I heard Pacino did that with American Buffalo. You just get some pea soup just so you can have something to vomit. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. But you, wow. you, you know, a shaking in the wings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I would sometimes look at that. Of course, we all have a first preview or a first night. Mm -hmm. But I was always relatively a relaxed performer. I looked forward to going out there and wasn't that sort of person who was terrified in the, in, in, in the wings. And I would look at these people and think, oh, God, if I had to do that every night, if I mm. felt like that every night, I don't know how I would carry on. Uh, it was just before Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Two or three weeks before we started, I froze and had bone-crushing stage fright. It was really debilitating. It was... It Sounds was, like it was the pressure of the role. Like, you, you really... Like, to you, I, those roles were like... And I, I think also it was trying to slay the dragon. For many people, Guinness was the face yeah. of Smiley. And so you're stepping into sort of... Mm. You're stepping mm. into those shoes. But I've since spoken with other actors. Ken Branagh, who said he was on a set in a scene and it started to come upon him and he went through it 
and and I realised that I was not alone. You know, it was like you know, like an AA meeting or something. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Okay, quiet on set. And I lock down the lens. Yeah. Let's do it. Hi, I'm John Boyega. I'm Sam Rockwell. Well, I'm Defoe. Emma Stone. Alice and Janney. Thank you. Thanks for watching The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter. On YouTube.